What's up, cuties? Thank you guys so much for joining me for this video. While you are here, please make sure to like the video, hit that notification bell, and subscribe. You guys know everything that I discuss are my own personal opinions for entertainment purposes only, and everything is alleged. So as you guys can see from the title of the video, I have victim or volunteer. And my commentary today is on Mr. Martel Holt. Has he been victimized or did he volunteer for the treatment that he's receiving when it comes to women? Okay. Now, I've said in previous videos, a lot of people seem to have amnesia when it comes to what we've seen on and off the screen on Love and Marriage Huntsville. And a lot of, in my opinion, Martell's dirty work has been done off the screen via other people. Other people, in my opinion, that he's weaponized to try to make his ex-wife, Melody Cherie, look bad. Whole lot of weaponizing going on. What I think that folks are upset with when it comes to Melody is the support as a reality TV star out of all networks, Melody Cherie has that on lock. And for me, I don't care how or why you or myself decided to support Mel, that's our business. But how did we get here? Don't nobody give a damn that Martel Holt cheated. What did he do? Join millions of other men and women when it comes to cheating. So that's not the issue here. That's not, for me, the tie that binds me to my support of male. Cheating has been done since the beginning of time, as well as side chicks. But let's get into how Martel Holt weaponized his side chick to go after Melody Sharif. That hasn't been done since the beginning of time. Most sad chicks know they place. Or some may start off thinking they gonna go at the wife and then they fall back. But not this one. And why? Why has she never fallen back? I'll tell you why. Because Martel Holt has never in how many years Six, seven demanded that she fall back. And people got a problem with that. We just heard recently on audio, the sad chick talking about a traumatic experience, allegedly, that happened to Mel. And we know how she get down again because of the history and the track record. So we know that. She was talking about Mel. But what was she talking about? Allegedly, Mel being touched as a child. And what? They want people to be silent about that? They don't expect outrage about that? Number one, 
who pillow talks with somebody about somebody else's pain and trauma that happened to them. And again, this was just a couple months ago. So did Martell ever come out even after something that was low down as that and say, look, don't say that, Arianne. Has he said that ever? Can somebody let me know? Has he ever said, don't say that, Arianne? Hell no. And you want to know why? Because again of the pillow talking. Because again of him wanting to put a battery in her back for years to come at the mail. And we, the people, whether you are a subscriber or content creator, don't y'all get mad about that. Don't y'all say nothing about that. That's just Martell. No, people got a problem with it till this day. Because as I just said, I have never heard Martell Holt come out here and say, let me handle my own affairs. You be quiet. Never. So I'm not going to ever support a man like that. Never. Now, amnesia or should we shut up or let's not forget the revenge piece. We, we supposed to be quiet? Can't nobody talk about it? Why? If it was anybody else, people would talk about it. But no, Martell has a right to do that. Again, we have audio of Ariane Curry. We had a person, Carson Blue, come out and give us full details of the plot. But oh no. Mel, don't you run down to no courthouse. Don't you run down to no police station. Don't you say anything because what are women supposed to do? Shut up and just let shit go on. No, it's a new day. And I'm not, again, ever going to support a man that wanted to act like his wife was on camera with another man. This is the good dad, right? This is the man that care about his children so much. The man that can give a damn that his children will one day have access to and see and hear everything that he's tried to do against their mom. But don't, don't say nothing. Don't say nothing, nobody. Just be quiet. If I got an opinion on any other reality TV shows or any other celebrities or politicians and everything else, I'm going to have an opinion about this as well. That's just on period. But how else and who else did Martel Holt try to weaponize against his ex-wife? Damn near every cast member on Love and Mary Huntsville. But don't talk about that, y'all. We can see it, but don't say nothing. No, we can talk, and I am going to talk, period. But yeah, we've seen it for years. We've seen it. Ain't nobody just making things up. Now, my question is, and has always been, as women on that same platform, on that same show, why has not a one of them come out and say, like they should have, that that's some BS? Why has the cast not talked about the revenge P plot? Why? Because that's what I've been witnessing for years. Do I hate the other cast members? Absolutely not. But will I call out Things that is just not normal to me. Will I call it out? you damn skippy. I am. And will. And this coming season, if seen, will. That is my choice. My own personal opinion. But it's not, it hasn't happened on the show. We heard Nell Fletcher try to say uh, from time to time, 
Look, you was wrong, Martell. I tried to tell you this was going to happen. And kudos to Nell Fletcher for doing that. And I hope Nell Fletcher stays on that path if the need arises. And we know that it will because why? We've seen Martell try to portray himself as the victim. But don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. Again, is he a victim or did he volunteer for a lot of the backlash that he receives? I'm going to say that he volunteered. A blind man can see that Martell has never been the victim. Let's talk about cheat. You know, because that was one of his things. Mel cheated too. Mel cheated too. If Mel did, did it break up your marriage? Name one man, Martell, that Mel was pillow talking with and it caused destruction in your home. Name one man that Mel was cheating with that talked about your kids, Martell. Due to his pillow talking with Arian Curry, in my opinion, he can't even check her on talking negatively about his kids. But the good dad that want a co-parent and all of that obviously can care less when they find that out in the near future. But here, victim, I've said, and I'll say it again, if Mel didn't cheat, she should have. That's on period. Because the bird been out here chirping all back to when they were married when he was lying to his wife, saying, oh, it's done, it's done. I want to be with you and still doing what a lot of people do. So again, cheating is not the issue. It's the bird that he allowed to chirp that is for me. And as I stated, he has weaponized a lot of the cast. No matter what, they can still peek through everything that I just mentioned, and it's not even everything. But they can peek through and still see the good guy. And then we see on the preview for the first episode, Mr. Martell Holt saying, nice guys finish last. So yeah, they see the good guy. Carlos sees the good guy. The network sees the good guy. But when you or myself, question, wait a minute now, how is he a good guy? He was just on Tasha K, paperwork in hand, trying to do what? Make Mel look bad. How long ago was that? Because we're talking current events, recent events. And Mr. Man, while he was sitting down with Tasha K, left it up in the air on if his last child is his or not. Is that a good guy? Is he a victim of the backlash that he receives? Or is he a volunteer? Because to me, you're a volunteer if you traveling around the world damn near with that paperwork from a child custody case that your wife didn't even want to have in the first place. Mel didn't get the courts involved. Martell did. Why? Because Martell, in my opinion, saw that he no longer had control. He was out there, basically, on an island by himself due to what? His own actions. But she didn't take him to court. The courts weren't involved. She didn't take him for child support. But she don't want to co-parent successfully, peacefully. Really? Let's talk about Mel real quick. Let's talk about co-parenting real quickly. We talked about it, the destined trip. I know I have. And when Mel went over to Martell's house and sat on that gray sofa child or recliner set or whatever it is, I saw Mel attempting to extend an olive branch to Martell Hope offered an invitation for him to join her in Destin, Florida, and Martell accepted. Yes, he did. Then we saw them at the house in Destin, Florida, 
And although it appeared to me that Martel still had hopes of getting his wife back, ex-wife at the time, um, it seemed like a good time was had until obviously there was some type of rejection. Because again, I'm talking about what happened on and off the show. And as content creators, a lot of them talk about what happens on screen and off, no matter the show, no matter the show. But shortly after that trip, where Mel again extended an olive branch to Martell, uh, my memory is crystal clear. Mr. Man let loose right there on Instagram. That's when he wanted to try to talk about Ariana's good. She's a good co-parent. She's a good mom. And then insinuate that Mel wasn't. That's when Mel responded to him. Look, keep my name out of whatever you're talking about. And what did Mr. Man do? That's when he sent her the image of he and her in an intimate moment, which is revenge, Pete. Why did Martel do that? Why? Because she rejected him. Because he didn't get his way in Destin. That's my opinion. And wait a minute now, Mel, don't you say nothing. Don't you say nothing that that man sent you that image and don't you do nothing. Don't do anything. That's just Martel, the good guy, the victim. But let's go ahead and move on to what she did do with that after Mr. Man sent it to her. But let's go ahead and get into what Mel did do. And I don't blame her, not one bit. Because again, we don't have to just settle for somebody that's breaking the law. She decided to press charges. Don't do that, Mel. Uh-uh. Wait a minute now. This man is threatening me with images knowing that it was he and I and said he gonna do what? Release it to the public. That is revenge P. And whether or not he is the father of your children or not, shit gotta come to a cease. People have to realize I'm not playing with you and I'm not gonna allow you to ruin me. Which again, in my opinion, is what Martel Holt has been doing. My opinion. But then, a lot of people may not have believed Mel when it comes to that. Did he really do that? Oh no, Martel didn't send her that. Not Martel, the good guy. In come Carson Blue. A stranger. Mel didn't know her. And I'm going to get into weaponizing and what the attempt was again real soon. But Mel didn't know Carson Blue. Carson Blue was able to tell everything that Ariane Curry told her. And guess what? We got audio of that too. Ariane Curry, when she was talking to Original Straight with No Chaser, she said that she had that conversation with Carson. She said Martell wanted her to release that. But guys, don't say anything. Don't do that. We ain't supposed to talk about that. We did. But another thing about Carson, and I said this then and I'll say it again, I feel like Carson was you by the castmates on Love in Maritonsville. Namely, in my opinion only, Letitia and Marceau Scott. Because how did Carson end up at the tea party anyway? Why was she there? And nothing against Carson. I've never had an issue with Carson, but Carson was used in an attempt to Bring shame to Mel. Now, I've never had conversations with Carson, but I'm curious to know if that information that she shared was shared to Letitia and Marceau Scott. We would never know, but I think it was. 
because ain't no way in the world Letitia and Carson are having conflict where Carson has to end up on Love and Marriage Huntsville so they can resolve it. No, that was BS. That was, you've been trying to break up my marriage and I know your marriage is over, but guess who I got here? Somebody that had conversations with your ex-husband's bird. And I also think that Mr. Martell Holt knew that as well. But what Martell didn't know is that Ariane Curry would get jealous from seeing Carson Blue on Love in Maritonsville. Wait a minute now. That's my show. That's how Ariane feel. I made that show. I made them popular. I made them rich. Martell didn't expect that. So what did Ariane Curry do? She went out there and started picking with Carson, and then Carson told it all. Told it all. And that's when, in my opinion, Mr. Martell Holt said, oh, we gotta back away from that. You didn't ran your mouth. He said it behind the scenes. But guess what? Again, he's never said anything in public when it comes to that other than try to make Carson look bad because she used to be a stripper. And that's lower than, in his mind, somebody that's caused all this pain to his family. Where they do that at? But again, he the victim. He the victim. And I can go on and on and on when it comes to just Martell Hope. But see, my memory, again, is crystal clear. And I remember Marceau Scott out here picking with who? Mel, as well as Miss Van. I just saw last week, week before, last year, year before, the Scott's brother out here doing what? Picking with Mel. But she ain't supposed to have no support. Don't y'all say nothing. And if people want to voice their opinion about things, I support that. If people want to say, why are cast members' mothers going after this lady? They can do that. Because why are they? They have adult children that's able-bodied with a voice that can talk about whatever they want to. But it's okay for them to come after male. So I don't get where the confusion lies. I don't. Um, but again, my memory is crystal clear on things that we've seen and what I think we're going to see on season eight of Love and Marriage Huntsville. It's a whole lot that's been going around as far as what's been going on. So you know, I think that people should let people do them, whether they choose to be a mellow meter or choose to support Mel or choose to support Tisha or choose to do you, do you. But you can't silence folks. You cannot. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to drop a quick little video. I am preparing myself to go out on the town tonight. But you guys know we do have Let Loose Lounge on Saturday. So for the Cutie Crew members or for those that are members on my Patreon, we will be letting loose tomorrow night. But to all the rest of you, thank you so much for joining me for this video. I am going to ask this, and you guys know that's been rocking with me for quite some time. Um, don't drop any content creators, info, names, or anything else in the chat. But let me know your thoughts. Do you think that Martell is a victim or a volunteer? And for me, I'm just going to end it with this. I'm never rocking with that, supporting that, no sir, no ma'am, period. That's just me. But thank you guys again. Before you go, please make sure to like the video, hit that notification bell, and subscribe. Chat with you guys soon. Bye. Chit chat with QT. Chit chat with QT.
Chit chat, chit chat, chit chat with QT. 